watched a YouTube video tutorial once, and the first thing it said was, make eye sex with the camera. So I'm going to be staring at this camera today. Hey everybody, it's Kai. Yes, I said Kai. Whoa, why did I say Kai? Didn't your channel used to say Kaya? So that's pretty much what we're going to talk about today. I am giving you guys advice on coming out, both as gay and as trans, because those are the two fields I am... I know about coming out. Alright, so first thing, this is just my opinions. I'm not saying that this is for everyone and everybody's coming out situation is different. So one of the most important things to know when you're coming out is always, always come out to yourself first. Once you know like what you are and how you feel, that is one of the most important steps in coming out. Is Think about labels and if like there is a label that you want to associate with or just no labels because you don't always need labels to put yourself in a box as a human. So just thinking about maybe what you're comfortable with saying and what you're not comfortable with saying. Next thing that I always encourage people to do is step back from your situation. Look at your living situation if you're younger and you are very dependent on your parents for living. Think about just how they are. For me, I thought about my family and I knew they had a lot of LGBT friends. So I wasn't necessarily concerned I was going to get kicked out. I wasn't sure if they were going to accept me. But I knew that they weren't, you know, homophobic or had any issues like that. So look at your living situation. And I hate to tell people this, but if your living situation is not safe and you are very dependent on whoever you are living with and there's a possibility that they could kick you out, don't come out. It's one of the hardest things to do to stay closed off. But that doesn't mean you can't come out to yourself at any age or come out to friends because you should always come out to friends or someone you really trust first. For me, I told my best friend, I was like, hey, I think I might like girls too. And once I came out to her, I started to explore what that meant to me and how certain situations made me feel. The next thing that I did was I was at a very low point in life and my mother asked me what was bothering me so much and I kind of came out to her and I said, well, I think I might be bisexual, but I really don't know. I kind of regret coming out at that time because with her it was okay and it was a like weight lifted off my shoulder but as far as on the other side of my family it was more of a you know bisexual you're questioning this is probably a phase you're just experimenting so I feel like it really does help to, you'll be taken more seriously if you do come out at a later age. So then I started, you know, dating and exploring just what I liked, and I realized that I was gay. Or, I identified with the label gay because I was attracted to females. So I came out again to my mom. I was like, and I didn't actually, like, do a dramatic sit-down where I told her how, you know, I was gay and it was this big thing. Sometimes the simplest thing to do is just kind of lightly nudge it in. Hey, guess what? Hey. Hey, hey, that's cute girl over there. Hey, g guess what? You know, I, I might want to date her. And then they kind of can figure it out on their own. But please don't come out if the situation is unsafe. I'm very fortunate to have a safe situation to come out in. Alright, so that was my coming out as gay. And I hope that helps. Now, the bigger one, coming out as trans. Whew. This is, I think, a lot harder than coming out as gay because, or gay or lesbian or bi or pansexual or any of those labels that have to do with your sexual orientation because trans is more changing you and sexual orientation is just really like dating people and what you're attracted to. And in my opinion, parents can be a lot more accepting of attraction because that's just dating than you actually having such an insecurity about yourself that you wanted to change your gender. Um, as far as my coming out, I, you know, once again, I came out to myself. I realized that I was looking in the mirror and not seeing the right person and how I, like, 
thought about, how I felt in my body, and how I just felt in certain situations, how I felt about, you know, people calling me she or her, how I felt about being called girly, and I thought about it, and I didn't really believe it at first, because, you know, if you look back at my childhood, I was very girly, so I thought that maybe this is just, you know, something that'll blow over, but Recently, I've realized it isn't, and once I started identifying as male and came out to my friends and using male pronouns, I realized how much happier I was and, you know, how much better it made me feel. So, that was our thing for me. I kind of, I haven't like fully came out as male to my family, but what I have done is said, hey, you know, I'm uncomfortable being called she, and I don't know, I don't like my body for certain reasons. And, you know, they kind of took that as that. Um, for parents in coming out as trans, that's another thing that I feel like should really wait. Because, you know, that you have to understand that that's also hard for them. Because that's, you know, that's their child, their daughter, their precious daughter, or their son that wants to now be their, you know, the opposite or whatever. And... That can be very hard for parents, which I'm trying to understand, but you need to like, because they think that they're going to be losing you and that you're going to be a different person. You need to reassure them that you're still the same person, you're still the same personality, you're just changing some things about yourself to be more comfortable. So yeah, you guys, I made this video because I watched every single probably coming out video that exists on YouTube. And I just really enjoy helping people, and this video will be featured in my Let's Explain Some Shit playlist, which you may have seen, where I break down topics. We did one sex versus gender, which you can click the link below to see, or like somewhere right there. And then I did the Proud and Out video, which should be like right there. Um, I hope this helped anyone. If there's any more questions you want me to answer, just let me know, and you can click my Tumblr if you want to ask me on my AskBots. I love everybody, and I will see you next week. Bye! So, National Coming Out Day is for everyone. It's LGBT out... So, mm, out day. So, National Coming Out Day is for everyone. It's LGBT out... So,